Season 2, Episode 35, Singer 221, Replacing the Hook and Case. In this video, we're going to replace the hook and bobbin case, the dog, and the, and the cover plate. And then, of course, the foot and the needle. Let's get started. The gib hook is open, so we can install the bobbin case in the gib hook. And that's our threaded drilled hole where we're going to insert our screw. We're going to screw in our, it's on the end of my little screwdriver there. And then when we install it and take it out, we want to make sure that, I call this a tab, whatever you want to call this thing, it has to be opposite the, the hole for the, for the screw. So that feels like it's seated in there. So I should be able to close the gib. That didn't work as good as I thought it had. So we'll try that again. I'm going to get the screw. I'm going to close the, the gib. And we see our screw hole lined up there with on the gib with the, the hook frame. Now we'll get that little screw there. And now it's tight. So there's our bobbin case. Whoopsie daisy. Woo wee. There's our bobbin case inside the hook. Now this device, it goes on here. And what you want is you want to have the, the serial number, which is right there. You want to have it facing me so you're able to see the serial number. And it goes on like that. And then you line it up with the drilled hole for, is that it? Let me take a look. Okay, here's the hole here. So that's where the screw, the screw, the story is there was no screw. And once I discovered, and I can tell you that there was no screw because I filmed taking this apart and I had the square metal tray and there was one thing that fell out of this when I took it out and it wasn't a screw, it was actually a brass ring from something else that had fallen and settled and when I turned it out, kind of shook it, it fell out. But I did reinsert this without the screw and it does snug up against the hook shaft driving rod where that uh, where the backing is where the where it, where it butts up against and it still seems to work correctly and it also stitched quite well in our test from two two or three videos together or whatever that was so anyway this is going to go back in on the shaft okay there's a nice shot there so I've just snugged that one up and now I'm going to go in get this backing screw and that hasn't, you know what, I'm going to tighten this a little more there. Now I'll do the other one, remembering to pull the wheel towards me, not away from me. That one's really snug. All right, let's try this. You know what, it's easier for me to see with my grubby little fingers out of the way as well. That one's nice and snug in there, my friends. There's another view from there, which is a pretty nice little view, too. Up next is our friend, the throat plate. That's snug. So, okay, now we'll take this screw off. This pressure foot screw. Okay, we'll get the needle in. And just want to, uh, I would just like to point out, ha ha ha, if you'll pardon the pun, that the needle is installed with the flat side on the left. And then please remember after the needle is installed and you go to thread the needle, the needle is, is uh, threaded right to left. There we got the flat side on the left and it's all the way there and we just tighten the, the needle clamp there. And I did take the foot off again to make it clear for watching the, the needle installation. So we'll get, get that foot back on. There we go. So we're, you know, we checked a few things, 
few more things off the list there. Watch for the end of the movie. Sometimes I stick uh, uh, extra clips on the end. Not on this one, so don't go looking today, but sometimes I do. Anyway, the needle's on now. And uh, what a great adventure. I'm enjoying myself. Well, I really enjoyed that. We're going to stop there. And I will continue making uh, YouTube videos about sewing machines here at Jeb Adams' channel. I want to thank you for coming here, for viewing. And I hope that you have something of value here. hope there was something good for you here. And really do appreciate your support. Please do subscribe. It helps. If you like, that is great as well. And of course, hit the little notification icon 